Все, поехали долго. Угу. Hi everyone, I'm Karina and this is my blog of Muscovite. Today I'm gonna tell you about transportation in Moscow, show how to navigate in metro and give some advice on the use of public transport. Let's go! Attention passengers, we've now reached our destination. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a nice day. So you arrived at one of three international airports. Vnukovo, Domodedovo, Sheremetyevo. All of three airports are quite in distance from the city, so it will take time to reach your accommodation spot. There are two ways of how to reach the city, by train or by car. If you decide to take a taxi, never grab a driver who offers his service in airport or park taxi outside. They charge an exorbitant prices. Each airport has its own fixed price taxi. Order it and be sure you'll be safe and pay an acceptable price. All contacts and links you'll find below the video. So I advise you to take a train, an Aero Express, that will deliver you straight to the city center, to one of three railway stations where you can take a metro for a further trip. Depending on rate, one ticket may cost from three to eight dollars per person. Your first metro trip starts at ticket office. Moscow Metro gives next ticket options most acceptable for its guests. Moreover, these tickets also work in buses, tramways, trolley buses and in trains of Moscow Central Ring. Also, you can buy a Troika card. Drop some money on it and use it in all kind of public transport as well. One trip by Troika costs 36 rubles which is less than a dollar. Locals usually use it. The card itself costs 50 rubles. It is a deposit that you can take back if return card to any metro ticket office. And that's the only place where you can buy it. And remember, you can't share your cards, so each person needs his own ticket. Moscow Metro has 12 lines. Each line has its own number and color, which is much more easier to use. Follow marks on the floor, when change lines and you'll never get lost. So both directions on the platform are opposite directions of one line, with exception of six stations. Those stations has cross-platform transition, so pay attention. Kitai Gorod, Tretyakovskaya, Kashirskaya, Kunsevskaya, Park Pobedy, Petrovska Rozumovskaya. Here are some rules and life hacks that will save time and nerves for you and other passengers. On escalator, stand on right, walk on left side. Count stations not to miss one you need. Despite English announcements, most of names sound similarly to foreign ear. For example, Krasnoselska, Komsomolska, Krasnogvardeska, Krasnopresninska, and etc. People in Metro are always on the run, so step aside while reading marks. And the last thing is how to know which direction on platform is yours. Since all station names are in Russian, you need to have a Metro map, both in Russian and in English. I'll leave a link to a very nice application in below. With help of application, remember name of station you are on, station you want to go to, and two end stations of that line. Remember how it is spelled in Russian. Find out towards which of two end stations you need to move. Find needed name of end station on a billboard. If it's on the right side of billboard, then you need to take right platform. The same with the left one. In case if your phone dies, each train and lobbies of stations 
has maps with English marks. Be ready that most of Metro employees don't speak English. Also try to use ground public transport. It will give you opportunity to watch the beauty of the city and give you unforgettable experience. It could be an alternative to tour buses for a funny price. Moscow Central Ring is a ground train line that goes around the city and connected with Metro on 17 stations. Change is free and the ticket is common with Metro and other public transport as I said earlier. Take a tour around the city on the Moscow Central Ring. Taxi is not easy to catch outside. Most likely you will order it. Be ready to wait for about 15 minutes. In my opinion, the best way to transfer in Moscow is using a metro. It works excellently. It's clean, safe, frequent and cheap. And it's the only way to count your time, as traffic in Moscow is very, very tough. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to order a tour, mail me. My email address will be given in below. See y'all! Yeah. Yeah.